Welcome to Backwater Casting. I'm your host, Rick Green. Today we're fishing my favorite lakes not too far from the city of Fredericton, New Brunswick. I've got guests Wendy and Rob Nickerson, who are two uh, New Brunswick Sport Fishing Association tournament anglers. We've got a great day for fishing, a little bit of cloud, no wind for a change, and we're going to whack some smallies today. Okay, here we go. First cast. Yep, first cast. Double header on the, and if I hadn't missed mine, we'd have had a triple. We'd have all three. We might get one on while you guys have got them on. Anybody wants a net, sing out. That's a smallie. Size? No. Oh. oh. There he goes. We got a triple. All three, yeah. First time in the boat, John, ever, we got a triple going. <laughs> Crazy smallmouth. First time ever in the boat, we've got a triple header. First time with the camera running, we had a triple header. Oh. We had the odd one without the camera running. Oh, they're eating well. They got fat. He's a little guy, but oh, man. Mm -hmm. uh, just under two. They're pretty close. Wendy and I are pretty close in size. There's a def look at the difference though. Let's get back here for a sec. You can see the pattern on mine is very tan and brown. Look at the bars on Wendy's fish. Look at the difference in those two fish. Pretty amazing. Wow. Yeah. Just totally different coloration on those fish. Mm -hmm. Anyway, apparently I stopped the boat in the right place. I guess so. <laughs> wow. They're eating really well. Boys, Another smolly. Starting to see where the power in the boat's going right. to be. Today. <laughs> this is a. Oh. oh, yes, sir. So, what are you getting that one on, Wendy? That's two in a row. Jerk bait. Jerk baits, yeah. This one's smaller than the last one. But it's bigger than what anybody else has hooked up right now. <laughs> it certainly <laughs> so. is. The ironic thing is, I've been looking for grass, and we're not on grass at all on this flat. Yeah, you can clearly see the rocks. I see the rock that you're yeah, I just pitched pitching out there, yeah. So we're in seven, just over seven feet. So where's your second one, Rob? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> so Rob, what do, you, what do you got on there? So what I'm throwing here this morning is a uh, Ned Rig. This is the big TRD that I have on there. But the kind of the special, if you want to say special, thing about that is that I'm throwing it on an extra wide gap hook, which allows you to to do this weedless, that way I'm not busting in the weeds all the time, getting caught up in there. So I put that through the hook, or through the bait, and then I just kind of skin hook that on the other side. Well, this morning I'm starting with a jerk bait. And it's worked out pretty well. Got two on two casts. <laughs> oh, it's just a baby. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of what I'm used to getting, isn't it? All right, bring it in. Let's see this monster. Yeah, I don't think it's a monster. No, it's tiny. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing it's, what happens with these light action Oh, it spit rod, up its it? actual meal. <laughs> yeah, I think it just spit up the crawfish there. Mm -hmm. Catching giants. If I hold it closer, it look bigger? No, not at all. Yeah, that's about the size I've been catching this year, my gosh. I am going to try a jackal rhythm wave. A little, not typically the kind of water I'd throw it over, but I'm going to give it a shot just to see. I'm going to make a switch. I keep getting uh, wrapped up in a little bit of weeds on the bottom, so I'm going to make a switch here. Go to the jerk bait, partially because it's the only other thing I have tied on and partially because it's working. You know, like use... you're, well, you can look up here. Anything that's on the front deck you want to try, you're more than welcome. Yeah, sure. And that's why I brought so much extra stuff. For the most part, we use the jackal. I love the jackal because we just have one tens on today, but I love this bait because of that weight distribution. You hear those rattles inside? Yeah, what I like about that weight distribution, Rob, is that when, when that you hear that snap, the bearing's going forward and that casts straight and it doesn't tumble in the air. Like some of the some of the jerk baits, even some of the expensive ones will tumble. That snap, that's the weights setting and then going forward so you get a lot further cast, I find, with these than uh, than any other jerk baits that we have. These are always a nice straight out cast. He hit that on the pause. He is not showing himself yet at all. Of course, he's going to see the boat here in a second and want to go right under it. There he is. Nice little dance, little small mouth. Yep. 
And now he sees the boat, and there he goes. Looking for help. He's not going to find any under there today, unfortunately. Uh, looks like he's got one in the front and one in the side, so he's not going anywhere. Well, he's yours. He didn't know it. The bait there, so, yeah. He's actually got all three. Oh, yeah, there we go. Friend. There we go. Yeah, the colors here are nice. Yeah, they're nice looking fish. Yeah. They're not huge, but yeah, they're still fun though, right? A pound and a half, pound 14, somewhere around there. Pound and a half from the looks of them. No, not even. I was being an optimist. He's just a tough guy, but he's about a little over a pound. Yeah. Just another bass. Now, same coloration as the first one I had, and, and totally different from the one Wendy had. Again. Uh, it's another smallmouth and a really small one. It's still like, bigger than one that we got on, which is none. <laughs> yeah, it's, he's just tiny. That's always hard. Yes. You got pliers? I, I got do. Two you should come up and smack that. I got him in the dorsal. Little green to hand. There you go. Yeah, that came all the way around. He hit it and it came all the way around and got him in the back. Yeah, here's where it came out, right there. There he goes. Little guy, anyway. Man, he chased it. I was, I was actually trying to reel it in and trying to get it down. It was kind of going along the surface. And he chased it down and hit it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Also. They're feisty for sure. Oh, yeah. Not coming in without a fight. No, mm -hmm. especially once they see the boat. That's when they want to go. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a little bit T-bone, a little bit sideways. You had just said that this was a point out there. So I cast back to where we just came over. And that guy chased it down. Again with the darker colors, but man, they're really fat in the belly. They're eating well here, that's for sure. I can't believe you called her fat. So normally those guys hit that on the paws. That guy did not hit that on the paws. I was reeling that in, and he just swam up and smashed that. Normally we stop like that, and that's when they hit, but not that last guy. He was, he was out there looking for trouble. It's 4 feet right there, and it's 11 feet right here, 12 feet here. So I'll okay. just move off a bit. But they are along that edge because that's where these are coming from. Oh, it's a little bit better size. You know, nice little smallmouth. Going right back to the net, and I'm doing that because those last few fish that did spit something up when we caught them spit up crayfish. So, you know, short of switching baits and going to a tube which mimics crayfish, which you know that they're feeding on, obviously. I'll switch to that that ned rig. <laughs> I thought this sharp yeah. rake would put some fish here. Well, well they're yeah, here. They're, they're just, just very big. Just not tiny. Big. Oh, I missed mine. <laughs> just a baby. A little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. He's trying to swim down there. He's not doing it. That Power Pro has got him pinned down there. But well, he's a little bigger, bigger than we had got the last couple, anyways. Okay, so that's what I like to do abs absolutely every time. I bring that up. I grab the top of that bait, and if I grab the top of that, then that hook can't get in my finger. So I grab the top of that, and he can spin around all he wants and jump around, and I'm not worried he's going to get caught in my my finger. Doesn't have that tiger stripe, but they're still eating well here. So they're, yes. they're fairly fat fish. Yeah, they're eating well. Okay, I'm switching up to a drop shot. Um, this one is the green goby. And the reason why I like it is because it allows you to suspend the bait about a foot to two feet off the ground. And hopefully that catches the fish that are just hovering at the bottom. He grabbed it at first and started skating this way, and I was like, mm, I'm not sure if he's there or not. But yeah, yeah and was, I've got one too. You got one too? There That's we go, it. double header. Oh gosh, wow. What is that? 
Did he just spit something up? Yeah, twice he did. They're not big here, but they're fun. Puts up a little fight anyway. Yeah, small ones are always fun. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so as I was bringing that last fish in two times, uh, it spit up and it looks like it, they're, they're feeding on crawfish. So, I mean, that just verifies to me. I mean, one, you're catching the fish on the bait that you're using, and two, they're spitting up crawfish. And what I've got on there, that Ned rig, that is, that is an imitator of crawfish. So that's what, uh, that's what we've got going on here today. Double header. Yep. Everybody's catching them but Rick. <laughs> what a polite host. <laughs> Best guy oh, around. What you got? Oh, nice one. That's a better one there. Oh, yeah. Sharing is carrying this, eh? It's a monster. Yeah. It's so heavy. Is it big though? Oh, really? Oh, oh well. see, mine's bigger. <laughs> there you go. Nice work. And there's mm -hmm. the triple. There we go. Oh. So I just switched the spot lock. We'll fan this for a minute. I got one in between. One in between? I could have been in the middle. We should have kept it. I could have been in the middle. <laughs> They're tough though, aren't they? Uh, Wendy and I probably had a tie or close to it. That one looks a little bit bigger. Oh. There we are. It was just a couple little taps and then chomped it. Yeah, and let, let me put that caveat out there that that's my rod now that you're using, right? <laughs> she picked up my rod and now she's catching a fish on my rod. It's, uh, it's fighting. Okay, there you go. The first cast with my rod that you it is yes yeah. and right in the top of the mouth just like on tv yeah <laughs> oh we got a double header yep. going on this side you guys jumping out there oh he's a good size this guy yeah rob's is bigger darn if I put mine back, it won't be much. He's better. excited. <laughs> the line's going. That's another double header. So we're doing doubles. Uh, we've had one triple. Life is good. That guy, he hit it on the pause 100%. And I actually paused long, almost like I would pause it in the, uh, in the spring when the water's really cold. That's actually one of the bigger ones that we caught today. I mean, he's not huge by any means, but. What's the size Do you want a picture? He's one of the bigger ones. That's a good fish here. Yeah, so he hit it on the pause. Like I said, I, I let that sit longer than I had been today. And he hit that all on its own. Yeah, I just shot out. Spot lock. <laughs> it doesn't want anything to do with coming up to the boat. <laughs> there he is. Is that back on jerk bait? It's, yeah, I'm back on that jackal. Yeah. Now that I would have bet you, that guy fought so hard. I would have bet you that he was way, way bigger than that. There we go. Yeah. Nice, healthy, big bellies on the wall. I mean, just fat, deep fish. Oh, he got his head up and he's coming all the way in yeah, on he's top. He's coming, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. A surfer. <laughs> that poor guy, yeah. he doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Oh, he does now. He does now. <laughs> he come all the way on top, though. I got his head above the water, and he just was along oh, for the ride one? there for a bit. Let's go get it. They no issue to go get him. There we go. So that's why I was saying every time I bring that up, I grab a hold of that bait. That way it doesn't end up in my hand. I grab a hold of that. So you saw him kicking there like crazy. I've done that once, and the little fish got me stuck in the finger, and it almost ended our day. So I hold on to that with dear life. I just got caught on a rock, 
got it off and picked up a fish. He was, who was on the rock. Who was on the rock, that's right. There you go. So that just caught me off guard because I was stuck on the rock and I was just trying to uh, get my uh, bait off the, the rock there and <laughs> grabbed it just as it released. So, kind of fun. That guy almost jumped on the boat right there. Boy, you got all three hooks. I'm surprised how hard they are to come out. Usually when you're right behind them, they'll pop right out. What you got there? Oh, that's a decent fish, Rob. Yeah. Boy, these turtle hooks keep getting caught and everything. I'm trying to be super careful around his eye there. Another decent fish. Mm -hmm. So you're really hitting this jerk bait here today. Welcome back to Backwater Casting. In this part of the show, we're gonna chat with Rob and Wendy about their military careers, and we're gonna have a chat with Rob about his involvement with New Brunswick Sport Fishing Association and their 25th anniversary. Out there dancing. <laughs> I think they're smaller on this side. Well, you see, we're just over the break right here. Yeah. So you're on the edge throwing in, and we're we're on the edge throwing ahead and out. He yeah. spit up again. Crawfish. Yeah. yeah. Go. That one's got a little belly on it too. They're eating well in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Wendy, why don't you tell us a little bit about your military career and where you started out? So I joined the reserves in 1997 as a medic. And then uh, after I met Rob in Gagetown and uh, we got together and moved to Cold Lake when he changed trades, I uh, went to the Reg Force. And then a few years later, I changed trades and became an RMS clerk, which is now HRA. And I currently work as the chief clerk at 2RCR in Gagetown. This is coming, there you go. I don't know if he was swimming to the boat there for a bit, but he was. He was. He was coming in there easy at first, and then he. I don't know if he just realized then that he got hooked or what, but that was the end. My feeling is the majority of the fish are on the deeper side, right on this spot. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but... There, see how easy that came out at the back when I went there the second time? So at first I tried to get that lower one first and it was too tight because all three were across here. That was too tight to, to pull it and I didn't want to damage that. I did damage it a little bit there, but I didn't want to damage it very much. So I went the other way. I started here and here and then once that was loose, I was able to pull that hook out real easy. Well, Rob, you're in the military too, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that and how you got involved and where you are now. So I joined the military in 1994, but I joined, uh, I joined the Army, I joined as an infantry, and I went PPCLI. So I spent the first six years of my military career uh, as an Army guy and then uh, made the switch to Air Force and finished out my career in the Air Force, so 20 years in the Air Force. So just this last past uh, October, I retired from full-time duty in the military after 26 years and now I'm a reservist at 403 Squadron in Gagetown where I am the unit training coordinator. Gagetown uh, 403 Squadron is the CH-146 Griffin Helicopter Training Squadron so we train pilots and we train flight engineers there and I'm the one that send out the messages to bring them from all over the country to our unit. Well this guy just absolutely smoked a blue fox almost to the boat. He is tough. There. It's a good fish. Yeah, he's decent. We'll take him. Yeah, he's one of the better ones today. Yeah, it's been a dry spell. We haven't had a bite for quite a little while. Somebody's caught him before. So we're obviously not the first people to fish here. A good solid fish, big belly. Two and a quarter there, but. I'll tell you what happened there. We were just kind of chatting and I kind of cast that out and I just let it sit. I didn't pull it down at all. 
and then I felt the tug on the rod and he had already picked that up before I even had got it down. Usually I cast that out there. Oh, nice little boy, dance. I <laughs> Usually I cast it out there and give it a couple of reels down so it gets down there. But he almost hit that like it was acting like a topwater, which is kind of crazy. But he had that hooked before I even, I didn't even have to do anything. I just cast it in the right place, I guess. Yeah. Oh, he's really long compared to the other ones that we've got today. The other ones have been short and fat. This guy's really long and skinny. Well, Rob, you're on the board of directors for the New Brunswick Sport Fishing Association. And let's tell us a little bit about their anniversary year this year. So this year is my first year on the board of directors for the, uh, for the MBSFA. And yes, it's our 25th year anniversary this year. So we decided because it's such a, a big anniversary for us that we'd uh, revamp things. So we went ahead and we, we had a brand new logo design, to, uh, which you have there on the, on the boat. But um, we went ahead and did that. We've, we've upgraded some stuff on the Facebook page. We also made a new website with a new web address. So the new address, of course, is mbsfa.ca. And we had one of your former guests uh, design that for us, Blair Cox. And, um, and now it's a lot easier for us to use. We're updating that after every tournament. Uh, and it's just a, you know, a fresh look. You know, 25 years is a, is a long time and, and the guys have been, been working really hard here for a very, very long time. So we thought we'd, uh, we'd kind of spruce things up. Well, nothing to do with the boat, does he? Nope. That'll be nice good guy. Start, Ooh. That's going to be a starter picture for Wendy. Yes. It's a nice fish. All right, back you go. That one hit hard. When I put this down, I just uh, popped it across the bottom and right away it just pounced on it. And you could feel the difference uh, with the size of the fish as it uh, took the lure. So this is a Ned rig, it, it's a TRD plastic. Yeah, that's three, three or four hits in a row over there. It's such a good fight because it's so far away. He's, he's not as big as the one I lost. There's a workout, I'll tell you. These guys absolutely have no quit in them whatsoever. Nice and easy, nice and easy, baby. Might as well have a, at least a half decent one. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good one. Rick, how big do you think? Oh, he's only two something. But he wanted it. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out in the boat with us today. It was a blast. It certainly was. Uh, yeah. Good day. We appreciate you inviting us out. It was oh, a good time. It's a hoot and it's great to be out with some folks that uh, serve our country and as long as you folks have both done. Uh, and it's a pleasure to have you out with us. So thank you. hope great. you enjoyed yourself. We did get a bunch of fish, no we monsters, did. but we yep. got lots. So. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, it's been a slice. Mm -hmm.